Hello again, everybody. Lansoon here. And this, as you can see, is Dark Souls. I am doing something in preparation for the next episode of Sunbro Sunday. Um, I'm getting Anthony here into the Warrior of Sunlight Covenant by helping people out with the White Sign Soapstone. So you get to see some co-op play. Uh, people said that I might want to you know, keep the co-op out or keep the co-op separate. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep the co-op separate. I require two boss kills. Two in order to get into the Warrior of Sunlight Covenant because that knocks down the faith requirement. Anyways, that's not the purpose of this video. The purpose of this video, once again, is the subject of copyright. More to the point, less about complaining and more what we can do about it. Alright, um, since yesterday's video opened up Pandora's box and I went nuts with a whole bunch of unorganized drivel, I thought I'd be a bit better about today's video and try to put my thoughts into a more cohesive format, I guess. Again, the subject of today's video is going to be gamers on the internet, as well as what we can and should do to provide ourselves with a platform to turn what we love doing into a side job or, in more successful cases, careers. The short version of what I'm going to say is that networks suck. End of story. They're, they're a good starting platform, a good idea that really need to be fleshed out a whole hell of a lot if they want to continue to uh, exist. Because the whole affiliate bullshit, it's taken away any purpose whatsoever in being a partner. They're taking out a huge chunk of ad revenue, but aren't going to go to bat for you anymore with regards to issues of copyright. What also sucks is this content ID system that YouTube has right now. It's basically guilty until proven innocent. And the positives of the gray area that I mentioned yesterday, they're no longer relevant to the people who review your stuff when you want a video to be monetized. So I say, let's create a way to make ourselves innocent so that all parties involved with the process get their due cut. Like I said in the previous video, Game companies do deserve a portion of what the video makes in ad revenue. A portion! They don't own the commentary. They don't put in the editing work. Hell, if you're like me and you use a musical piece for an outro that you do have the permissions to monetize for, they sure as hell don't own that. So what in the world gives them the right to claim 100% of what you earn? Or, in the case of people who aren't even partnered, what gives them the right to place ads on your videos in the first place? There's a very large amount of credit that must be given to all parties, and believe it or not, smaller independent developers actually love the attention that their properties get when you put out a video, whether you monetize it or not. So many of the great indie games have come with a legal notice that says you can do whatever the hell you want with it. They acknowledge it as free advertisement, but it's like, once a developer becomes a big deal, they see it as less free advertisement and more as lost profits because you're showing people who haven't paid for their product stuff from said product. That, that's just a crock of shit. Many, many of you have come out of the woodwork saying, I got you guys into Metroid, or I got you guys into Dark Souls. Hell, some of you actually said you bought systems based on some of the videos that I've actually put out. How in God's name is that affecting the bottom line besides making it increase, making it go up? It's all about boosting up that bottom line and I think we're doing more good for the community than bad. That led me to the conclusion that I'm thinking of starting my own company that deals with this sort of thing. A place where talented, entertaining individuals are legally, legally able to monetize content because this company would be responsible for handling licenses issued straight from developers. Any of you familiar with IGN will know exactly what I'm talking about. They're issued licenses by developers of all shapes and sizes, and they're able to put out profitable content. In addition, the licensing fee means that the company and all those contracted by it would be able to monetize 100% of the revenue because the publishers and developers issued the license to monetize. This theoretical company would therefore have a page for members listing every single license it has obtained. Anytime YouTube comes knocking with their crappy content ID matches, 
You could simply provide proof of that license and proof that you are contracted with the network with a simple copy and paste. Obviously, as time goes on, the more developers would get added to the list of licenses and the more variety we get to the content we're able to monetize. Okay, uh, bear in mind, guys, this is all in a theoretical phase right now. I don't know what this company would be called. I don't know the legal processes that I'll need to follow, and I obviously need some startup capital for the company. There's a lot that I need to figure out before this actually gains any kind of momentum. But the fact of the matter is, I'm sick to death of seeing networks profiting off of people's hard work, taking ridiculous percentages of what you as a content creator earn, and honestly, the lack of accountability when it comes to obtaining copyright licenses to be able to legally monetize the content that we've grown to love so much. They're not going to bat for you, so why in God's name are they entitled to that 40% if they're not giving you any benefit to it anymore. <sighs> Spread the word, people. I want this video to be seen by every gaming content provider on YouTube. I want them to know that yes, it is possible to make a living doing what you love doing. But the answer isn't multi-channel networks, at least not in their current form. Even ones specifically catered to gamers haven't gone out of their way to provide you with the tools you need to monetize content legally. And that's why I'm saying enough is enough and I'm starting this whole thing myself. To quote a great man, I have a dream that one day this company will become a reality. That it'll be a community filled with the top gaming personalities as well as the up-and-comers. None of this managed versus affiliate segregation bullshit. The software and hardware comes out of our pockets. The time devoted to our projects comes out of our lives. And everyone's goal in life should be living off of what they love to do. Because if you make money doing what you love, it's not really a job, is it? I look at a job as working a 9-to-5 you let your jack off of a boss scream at you for nine hours. If it's a manual labor job, your body hurts almost as much as your pride does. You come home angry and aching with barely any money to show for it. And then the process begins again. All the while, the only way to advance and get any promotional opportunity is to not kick ass at your job, but to kiss ass at your job. Is that what makes you happy? Because it sure as fuck isn't what makes me happy. I'm going to be doing everything I can to find a way to reach that promised land and, God willing, and the river don't rise, be able to make this into a reality so hundreds and thousands of others can be able to do the same. So from one gamer to however many you're listening right now, I'm going to be doing everything I can to bring that to fruition. Thanks for listening, and if you've got anything to add, any advice, by all means comment below, or feel free to send me a YouTube message. I want to get this out there to as many gamers as possible. A couple of people have actually thrown out the idea of beginning a Kickstarter to get this sort of thing rolling, and trust me, once the company gets off the ground and is able to monetize this content legally, you guys get all the money back, and then some, when you join the network. So I'm going to figure out what needs to be done. Uh, again, this is in the planning stages right now. There's still quite a ways to go yet. But thanks for listening. I will see you guys next time. Thanks a lot for watching, folks. Let me know what you thought with your comments and feedback. And if you really enjoyed the video, I've got a slew of other projects going on that I update regularly. So if you're interested, please consider subscribing to stay up to date. Have a good day, everyone.